welcome to another episode of Crafty Time with Aunt Sherry. Now I know it's been a very long time since I've done a Crafty Time with Aunt Sherry video and this one we won't be making a craft together but watch because soon we'll be making some more of those Crafty Time ones. But this one I am putting as a Crafty Time because when I originally started the Crafty Time with Aunt Sherry videos many years ago they were actually designed less for the YouTube world and more for my nieces and nephews. I have a bunch of them and um, so this video is also for them because it is about their Christmas present. So I just want to pull that out and we're going to talk about what it's for and what um, I want to have it for you to do with it. So what you see here, let that camera focus, is a Christmas secret book. Now this one is for Jackson. Yours won't look exactly like this. It may be a different size. It will definitely have a different type of cover or at least some of the things on the inside will be different. But it's designed to keep your Christmas secrets. So when you open it up, what you're going to see, first of all, is this piece of paper. Now, um, this is only a little bit of tape holding it down and it will come open really quickly. But if you open it up, there's a letter that I have put in there just for you and um, each of your cousins will be getting one too so open that up and read all about what the book is for but the reason I want you to um, look at this is because this book you will actually be getting long before Christmas because I want you to open it and use it throughout the Christmas seasons I want you to be able to use it to keep your special memories in you can draw pictures if you um, have a picture that your mom will let you cut you can cut and glue a picture in here um, but it's a special book for keeping those things and then next year you can use it again only keeping next year's Christmas memories so you can use this for more years than one now the letter tells you about Christmas and how the most important thing in Christmas is remembering that Jesus came as a baby for you and so I talk about that in the letter but then I also talk about how, you know what, sometimes we always, all we think about is what we're going to get for Christmas or what we want for Christmas. And this year with this book, I want you to focus on something a little bit different. Not what you're going to get for Christmas, but what can you do to help others at Christmas. That doesn't mean buying them big fancy presents. It just means how can you be a blessing to others and how can you remember the things that you do with your family. So there's three sections in your book. The first one is for memories and photos. So I've put this um, little tab on it and this pretty piece of paper. And then when you open the next page, you see that I've stamped it with this year. And so you've got lots of room to draw pictures and maybe if you're too little to write, have your mom help you write in it or you can write in it so that you can talk about it. Um, then the next section, are things that you've given to people. Now again, that doesn't mean you have to go out and buy big fancy gifts. And I don't want you asking your mom and dad for money for gifts. I want you to think about what can you give that will be a blessing. Maybe it's um, helping your mom with chores, or maybe it's asking your mom for chores so you can earn some money or something like that so that you can get gifts for your brothers and your sisters or for your mom or your dad or for other people. So then I want you to keep track of that so that um, next year when you come back, you can look back and remember what you bought for other people. Now the very last section, I did put a place for you to put what your gifts that you receive um, are. And this is a good place to put that. Again, it says 2018. But it's a good place for you to keep that list so that some other time you can go back and you, it, maybe you got a new toy car and you can't remember where you got it. You can ask your mom to show you um, who gave it to you or something like that. But it's also a good place for you to um, make a checklist so that you can remember if you said thank you. Because when your mom and dad buy you special gifts, you should always be sure and tell them thank you. So I want you to put down, did you remember to tell them thank you? I sure hope you did. 
Now, one thing you'll notice that is not in this book is a place to write a wish list. Now it's okay to be to wish for things for Christmas and you can put that in with your memories, but I don't want you to focus on that this year. I want you to focus on, first of all, how that Jesus loved you so much that he came to earth for you. And then secondly, I want you to focus on how can you bless others by being helpful to them. So come back next Sometime soon I will have a video where I'll show you how to make a book kind of like this so maybe you could make one too. So thanks so much for stopping by today and know that if you are watching this and you're my niece or nephew I love you very much and Uncle Daniel and I think of you and we pray for you often. Love you. Bye.